Today I want to show you Wejerowo, the Kashubian capital of Poland. So Wejerowo is located in the northwest part of Poland, part of the Tri-City uh, with uh, Rumia and Reda. And of course situated very close to Gdynia and Gdansk. Entering the city, you are greeted by this rock which celebrates 60 years of independence. Now, before coming to Wejerowo, I honestly had never heard about it didn't really know a lot and didn't know what to expect. Um, from the various sort of cities in the area, I would say it's the most beautiful. And we were very glad to come here. A wonderful place to visit. As with most of the larger spots in Poland, uh, we were greeted by an elaborate town square with lovely fountains, a statue of the town's founder, and a nice bit of sunshine to boot. Uh, we couldn't help but partake in the local craft beer um, bar where the staff were not only incredibly friendly, they were very knowledgeable and proud of their product. Vejerovo is certainly a cultural center of the area. Um, as you can see, you know, you have some lovely churches and, you know, it's got several art centers and lots of statues. And honestly, you know, it, it was a wonderful place to walk around. It's maybe not the biggest place in Poland, but, you know, it was certainly worth uh, the day that we spent here. Wejerowo was founded in 1643 by Jakob Wehe, a Polish noble. It established city rights in 1650. Uh, during his time, uh, Jakob managed to build two churches, a monastery, and established the Calvary, which consists of 26 chapels. In 1772, it was annexed into West Prussia, and it was renamed Neustadt and it became part of the German Empire in 1871. Finally returned to Poland after the First World War and then sadly overtaken by the Nazis in World War II, where of course most of the Jewish community was murdered as well as the mo many local Polish residents. It was reintegrated into Poland in 1945. The Szewendowski Palace, uh, originally built in the 18th century uh, by Ignacy uh, Franciszek uh, Szewendowski, um, then purchased by Alexander Gibson, a Scottish gent, who sold it to his nephew Alexander von Kesseling, who demolished the palace and rebuilt it at the beginning of the 19th century. Since 1995, it has been used for its exhibition halls and now acts as a museum for regional literature and goods of the Kashubian culture.
One of our favourite parts of the city, maybe helped by a couple of beers, um, was the the big park. And here, you know, we were greeted by you know a, a singing statue, mm. some wonderful streams, and eventually we got into a, a small zoo-like area where we found some eagles and some, I believe, some storks. And there was a lovely kind of sort of pond, um, you know, for them uh, to play around in. Well, maybe not the eagles, but certainly the storks. Um, we walked around and it was quite uh, a big expanse. Uh, you know, we were there easily for maybe an hour or so. And it was very well maintained, uh, lovely to look at and the weather certainly helped. Now, one kind of area that sadly we didn't really have time to explore fully was this Calvary. And this is actually a succession of sort of 26 chapels. And uh, if we'd have had the time, there was something like um, a seven, eight kilometer walk, uh, which, you know, takes you along this processional route, um, obviously, you know, in, in honor of Jesus. And they said it was a bit of a challenging climb in places so if i ever go back that's definitely what i will be seeing and as i say in all of my videos thank you very much for watching this place it, it went to kind of show me that you know there are a lot of places that you in the world that you've never even heard of and yet when you finally go there, finally see them, you find some real gems. I mean, this place was definitely worth the view. And I would highly recommend at least a day. You know, and it's, you know, it's close to the other points um, like Gdynia, uh, Sopot, Gdansk. You know, it's maybe about an hour by local train. You've got, if you've got a car, you've got a lot of kind of woodland um, around as well. So it's, you know, it's a nice, beautiful part of Poland to go to, and I highly recommend it. And if you like the video, of course, please like and subscribe, and stay tuned for the next one. Thank you.